can tell you about hippie hummus. So when I make my hummus, I rinse the chickpeas. And the reason I rinse the chickpeas is uh, when I was a vegan once, ugh, I read that the chickpea juice in the can, if you whip it, it's the vegan alternate to meringue. I found this disturbing. So I always rinse the chickpeas of whatever you could beat into a pulp and make meringue out of. Um, I'm quite certain that hippie hummus includes the chickpea juice. So there are two components to hummus, tahini, and tahini is ground up uh, sesame seeds, which smells and tastes like dirt. And you could also use, if you don't shake it up, you could use the bottom to caulk your windows. And chickpeas, which, uh, tastes like, um, you know, it tastes like your grandmother's closet smelled. And, um, but they have a good texture. And if you marry these two ingredients with lemon and garlic and salt, you come up with a beautiful dish called hummus. You have to blend it a long time. I can't reiterate that enough. Hippie hummus, I am quite certain, uses the chickpea juice. And they take their fork because they've got something against food processors and they mash, they throw a few, you know, chickpeas and they pour, you know, some tahini in it and then they mash it with their fork because they think they're clever and they think somehow that mashing with a fork is better than a food processor. And they have a little juice in it and then they'll put some salt in it, but they'll use like a half freaking teaspoon of salt, which is absurd. And uh, if they use salt at all, because I'm sure that's bad too. And then they'll put some herbs in it. I've got oregano, so this is gonna be Italian hummus. Oh God, that smells so good. It smells like a pizza place. And, um, but I'm sure they don't put dried oregano in their hummus. The hippie goes out to their garden and snips little bits of herbs from their herb garden that they've cultivated and they may be sad because their favorite herb was eaten by their goat. I don't know. But anyway, then they take their fork and they mash that together. And you come up with something like this. It is tan. It is chunky. There are flecks in it, marring it. There is not enough lemon. There is not enough garlic. There is not enough salt. People eat this. They also sell it in stores, although the texture probably looks a little better than this. But God in heaven, do not eat hippie hummus. It's a terrible, terrible food. That's it. Oh, I washed my hair today because I looked at myself on um, the video and discovered that I am still absurdly vain and it disturbed me that my hair looked like, you know, that, uh, you know, those sheets of insulation, fiberglass insulation. Yeah, that's what my hair looked like. Don't worry, you'll you'll have the dreadlock dreadlock back in.